you guys, how's it going? It's Sahite uh, here, and we're back with another episode of Autonauts, the Mega Base Edition. And guys, in the last episode, if you were here, you will remember we finally finished all of the food. The food processing is done. So, we had talked about potentially getting started on the clothing, and I haven't done too much since the last episode. I did beef up our bull rush factory just a little bit. I had a bunch of empty stations laying around that weren't actually being used. So I went ahead and filled them all up. And I think we're still going to need more. I mean, at least, well, it's only temporary. All of our canvases are getting, or all of our bull rushes are getting used in canvases right now, but we've already filled up the storage at the paint spot, this one. This one's holding a thousand. This train is holding another 50. And then this one holds another thousand. So we're going to have 2,050 canvases just kind of laying around on the map. But once that's done, uh, I mean, I could probably just shut off the bull rush factory. We'll never, never need that many canvases ever. Like, because our paintings are full too. So... Yeah, like, we've got so many canvases, but, I mean, whatever, it is what it is. I needed a place to store them, so there they are. Um, so in today's episode, uh, I don't know exactly what I want to do. What's this guy doing? What the heck? Sod farm planter. Move to turf storage. Take from turf storage. Oh. <laughs> This guy is another sod planter? I didn't even realize that I had two of these guys. I shouldn't plant sod there right now. Because I don't know what's actually going to happen there yet. We might be digging a bunch of sod out in this episode. I'm not sure yet. So, what I want to do today is maybe just get set up with the fields that we're going to need for each of the resources. And I'm not sure exactly where I want them. I was thinking originally I would put them down here. But I want room in between for trains. And there's this pile of rock here, which is going to be a pain in the butt. Let me move this out of here. I don't even know why that's there. Oh, no. Get out of here. Okay. So, if I leave a spot right here for trains, and maybe one for a road at some point, I don't know, and maybe a little bit of room for something else in the future, then maybe our fields can go... I don't even know. What do we want, even? How big of a field should I make? 15 by 15? That seems like a pretty good number. So, we're going to need a cotton field. Oh, 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 oh. And then we're gonna want... Okay, what? How do I enter this? I, I forget. There we go. Cotton field. We're gonna want a fence, a road, a fence. Come on. Game. And then we're going to want a... What is this gonna be? The trees. We've already got the bull rushes here, so we'll have bull rushes, cotton, trees. Is that it for raw materials? I mean, I know we're gonna need wool, but we've already got that happening down here. So I might need a bot hauling these things up to here. That's not so bad. So, let's take a look. I just want to make sure I'm not forgetting a resource. Clothing. Oh, crap. I gotta... No, no, no. We're gonna... We're gonna do it here. Clothing. Fleece. Wool blanket. Red. Bull rush. Silkworm. I think that's all of it. So... 
what I want to do then is get my saw digger. Oh my god. To close some of this stuff. That's gross. Actually, expansion team. Do I have a sod digger in here? I do! Uh, where are you digging right now? Okay, so I want you to get rid of everything in that area. And then there should be a sod picker. And there is... And I want you to pick all the sod in the same area. Okay, so we'll do that for now. How is my fence situation looking? Do I have a bunch of fences or do I have to make more? Oh no, we got lots. Okay, so let's slap a fence around here. Keep it all nice and tidy. There you go. Same thing around this one. Nice and tidy. Okay. And I'm thinking, because I'm, I am going to have materials down here, maybe I will put a road right through the middle of the fields. I think that's the best idea. So if I do that, then I need to get rid of the fence and get rid of, I don't know, that one. We put in some gates here. And then we got to shoot a road right across. Oh, that actually lined up nicely. I was not expecting that to happen. Okay, and then we shoot that right across. Actually, I'm going to have a road that goes through here. Okay. Oh, all my roads are all wonky. I'm gonna have to fix those at some point. I hate when they're not all the same way. It drives me crazy. If I zoom out far enough, maybe I won't notice. <laughs> okay, anyway, for now, we'll leave it. I don't have time. So there's our field layout for now. I'm gonna need room for my guys to run around everything. And like I said before, I think at some point there's going to be a train track running through here. But for now, it's fine. We will leave it. Uh, that guy must be going to get a new shovel. That's fine. Okay, so we're going to have to let that kind of do its thing for a minute. And I guess while that's happening... What can I work on while that's happening? How are things looking here? We got lots, lots. We really need more clothing machines. Hang on, how many do I have? I should probably start making some of these. Yeah, we're gonna need a bunch. So let's just make a whole bunch of these. I don't even know what we're gonna need. A sewing station? Yeah, we're probably gonna need a bunch of those. I don't know. And then a whole bunch of hat stations. No, oh, I wasn't holding control. That's fine. It doesn't matter. And then power loom. Sure, let's make some more of those. Uh, crude loom? We don't even need a crude loom if we have a power loom. Is that right? I'm not sure. Spinning mule. Hang on. Now I'm wondering, do I even need spinning wheels if I have a spinning mule? Got one over here. Uh, let me just compare recipes here. Spinning wheel. I think this is different. Yeah, that just makes thread. And this actually makes clothes, so we'll need them both, I think. Although we do have a whole bunch of these things already, but whatever. Let's just make them. Our bots are sitting around doing nothing anyway. We'll make a whole bunch more of these things too. I don't know how many we're gonna need. Come on. I know I can get one more in here somewhere. There we go. Oh, I can even get one in there. 
Okay, well, I mean, that's a pretty good start for now. We'll let the bots work on that. And I'm sure I'm gonna be missing some robot pieces. Like, I don't think I'm bringing metal over here. Like, the gears. And I'm pretty sure some of those things are using gears. Where the heck is my gear stuff? Yeah, these. I don't know if I have a bot taking gears up there. Doesn't look like it, but I'm not sure if that actually works when you do it like that. Let me see. No, I don't think it does because I definitely have straw construction bots and it's not uh, it's not showing me that so I think it just is into inventories yeah okay well well you're just gonna have to see what we're missing and then fix it later got some nice storages here how many more storages do I have oh we got a lot for now it's not gonna go very far here soon Let's take a look at the clothes one more time. What do we, what all is there even in here? I know there's a lot of stuff. You guys were commenting in the last episode that the clothing sucks and I know. Oh my God, it's just like robot parts all over again. Except I can't make it all in the same station. Yeah, and to top it all off, there's parts that we don't even have unlocked yet. So. You know what, speaking of that, we should probably figure out where my stupid space station is. Where the heck is it? Do I, did I even place it? Is it here? Okay, it's on the ground somewhere. Uh, there it is. <laughs> Let me run over here and let's see if we can get some more tokens. It's been a minute since we started shipping stuff to space and now we should be able to ship nearly anything except for clothes. All right, so this one gets us a hundred if we can do it and we can do it. Fishing sticks, wait, am I making fishing sticks? I have to be making fishing sticks, right? <gasps> We're gonna need more flails soon. And it does not appear that I'm making fishing sticks. Okay, well that's a good thing to work on right now. Let's do that. Do I make it in this? Because if I can start getting a hundred tokens... How am I not making fishing sticks when it only takes a pole? Interesting. That's so weird. Okay, uh, let's get this guy. Fish, that was close. Fishing sticks. And I guess just come over here, grab some poles and then dump them in there. Repeat until hands are full. Bunk them in there. Until hands are empty. Uh, oh, he's not going to be able to pick those up multiple, is he? <gasps> pick up. You know what? Pick up and put away and do and do that part until question mark empty okay that should work all right so i really need to make another flail bot because this one guy is not keeping up with our demand anymore good workbench Put that in there. Real quick, I'm just gonna copy that flail bot over, guys. I'll be right back. All right. So now we got the flails coming. I don't know what 
we called the guy who was putting stuff in... Uh, I, I don't remember the name of that guy. And I don't know if we're gonna actually find him now. I think he's just gonna be gone. Alright, so I don't know what the heck we called that guy. If you remember, by any chance, what we called that guy, then let me know in the comments. We'll go find him, but... I don't know. We're gonna call this guy... Spaceship. Hopefully I don't forget. And... Basically, I can actually just copy this transfer code, because all I need him to do... Is go and get flails... Not flails. Fishing sticks. And put them in here. And instead of until hands are full... Yeah, instead of until hands are full... And stow... I will just get him to do this... A certain number of times... Which I forget the number of. Let's go back there and take a look. It was 54 of those. So let's get this guy going. Record 54 times. And then what do I want him to do when he's done? Somehow, I want him to let me know he's done so I don't forget, because... I don't know. What can I do? I should have him, like... <laughs> can I have him shout? I, I probably can. And then just, like, run over there and shout until I reprogram him. Where did that robot go? Oh, you know what? I don't think I actually programmed him. Where is he? Oh, maybe I, I haven't actually picked it yet. That's why. Okay. There we go. Crude flower. Good brain bot upgrade. Man, that stuff's all easy peasy, not a problem. I should actually move this a little bit closer for that guy. Yeah, do your thing, buddy. There we go. Now I won't have to run so far. So, what I was thinking is once he's done... Oh, this guy's still digging away. Once he's done, I want him to like run up to whatever area of the factory I'm working on and then just repeat shout until I fix him. <laughs> Just to be super annoying so I have to deal with them. Because then I won't forget. So I think that's what we're gonna do as soon as he's done... Um, as soon as he's done this one, I will fix it when I tell him to get the next material. But this is almost done here. Just gotta wait a few more seconds. As long as his shovel doesn't break on him. And then I can get him to move over. We can get the cotton guys moved. Actually, wait. No, I don't want to move them. These bots are old bots. <gasps> we want to copy their code. And then move the code down. But we don't want to move them. Those guys are getting thrown in the trash. Okay, so let's get this guy working on a new spot and actually now that I think about it we don't need every square do we because if this is gonna be a tree farm we usually go with the uh, checkerboard although in this case maybe the alternating because we don't need as many I think alternating it'll look nicer and give us a lot more room to work yeah, let's do that. I'm into it. We've not done any alternating fields. Oh no. The problem with the trains running out of fuel is happening again, and I don't know why. They go forever and forever and forever, and then all of a sudden, 
they'll just start running out of fuel. And I don't know why they do that. Because they always stop, they're programmed to stop at this one. Unless, unless sometimes when they get there, it's out of water. I wonder if that's the case. I wonder if sometimes it's out of water when they get there and then they don't get filled. Where's this water bot getting water from? Maybe he's running too far. Find nearest water. Oh, maybe that's what's happening. He has to run way too far to get water. I don't know. Although that train came through and barely took any water out of there, so I don't know if that's actually the case or not. I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna have to dump this salt water out. We're gonna have to get some actual water. And then I have to go and add some more water to this train because it's uh, running into issues. All right. Bon voyage, train. Is it not full either? It was out of fuel and not full? Or is it just broken now? I don't know. Not my problem. Okay. Cotton picker. No. Wait. I think that actually is the guy who seeds the cotton. Where's the cotton planter? Is this him? Aha, cotton planter. Let's copy. Oh, uh, you know what? I don't even know if I want to copy any of these codes. I think we're going to remake them because... Yeah, I don't know. I think we're going to remake them. Do I have a actual silo? Yes, I do. Let's put the seeds... I don't... Uh... I don't think anything uses the cotton seeds so i don't mind putting them on the other side just to keep them out of the way i i think i think i think i don't know let's put them down there for now if it if i run into an issue then i'll move it not a problem now we're going to need a robot to... Oh, you know what, though? I'm gonna have to get some seeds in that storage for it to actually start working. So let me move some of these real quick. Alright, so I moved all the seeds, or not all of them, I moved a bunch. I moved 72. How is this guy doing? He's done? I think he's done. Yes, okay. So, let's move this somewhere closer to the bot upgrades and the door is down there so perhaps we'll put it over here and then what I want to do is program this guy to go in and take it's the good ones right good brain upgrades is that this one good brain upgrade so move there take from there move uh actually that part can stay the same this is going to be 42 and then what i want him to do is just run up here and shout how do i shout there we go shout and then I just want him to wait one second and shout again. <laughs> okay, that should work. He'll go do his thing. He'll fill that up and then he'll come up here and yell at me to program him to do the other part. Although, hang on. Before he grabs that, oh, is it going to be too late? I think if I can get him... Oh, I'm not going to be able to get him in time, I don't think. If I could... Uh, I think I missed him. Drop? Okay, so do that 42 times, and then I should be able to just... 
copy this whole thing? <gasps> oh my god, if I copy that whole thing... Oh, the flower is so far away, though. But it's automatic, so... Probably better than nothing. Oh, wait. I don't want him to do that one 42 times. That one I only want him to do... Oh. 51 times. Okay, so there. He's gonna go do the good brain upgrades 42 times, go do the good flower upgrades 51 times, and then he's gonna go run up to where I'm working right now and just yell at me until I... <laughs> <laughs> Till I fix him. Uh, that's great though. Now I won't forget anymore. Because that has been my biggest issue. Is I just keep forgetting about him. So. Okay. Now that is going perfect, perfect, perfect. What was I working on? Cotton. We need a cotton planter bot. Come on. Cotton planter one. And I want you to come and take cotton seeds and then plant the cotton seeds. Nice and easy. And I should have a fence, uh, not a fence, I should have a sign set up for this, but it's fine. We'll just do it like this for now. Repeat until it's empty, repeat forever. Go. Okay. So there we go. There's the cotton. Now, do I have scythes up here? Or is my cotton cutter bot actually just running all the way down to pick them up? I think it's running all the way down. Which isn't the end of the world. Also, I just realized I haven't cleaned this area up yet. What the heck? So, seriously? Wait. I have this sign. I don't remember who's all connected to this sign anymore. Maybe there's still some good guys attached to it. Like, well, clearly the rock bot is not attached to it. I just drop this in here will the will the trees start to disappear I don't think anyone's connected to it anymore uh, let me see here expansion team bush clearer okay well you're definitely not connected to it anymore you know what I think I'm gonna have to reprogram all my bots to be part of this uh, area again. Let me just do that really quick. There's no point in making you guys watch me do this because it's gonna take a minute. All right, so I think I got all those guys moved over. All the important ones, anyway. There's a bunch like the land filler and the sod placer and stuff like that. I didn't need them doing their stuff, so. I didn't bring them over. How is everything going over here? I think I was right about the metal gears, but it looks like everything else is there. So let's just maybe get a metal gear construction bot. And actually, no, no, let's just go grab it and do it manually. Okay, we'll change the area to be more appropriate. And put that in fill hands are empty. Repeat forever. Okay, so that should be fixing our no gear issue. Let me see if I can get rid of a bunch of this crap so it looks a little bit more tidy. What a mess we got going on here. I like it though. It's starting to feel pretty good. Just get rid of all this junk. Give our bots some more room to work. Look at that. Okay, wonderful. 
There's that, there's that. How are things looking up here? My cotton. Oh, we can fertilize in water. Oh, and we can till. <gasps> I didn't know we could till. I don't think we really need to. Because this little tiny field here kept up with our entire cotton demand forever before. However, now this is mega base. We will probably... I mean, we're probably going to push it. We're going to push it to the limit. I've been seeing bottlenecks in stuff. I didn't even know you could bottleneck with this base, so... You know. What are... What's going on here? We're still short on weeds? Is it because I don't have enough pickers? I'm still seeing a few loose ones laying around here, so... It's probably because I don't have enough pickers. But again, things are starting to get full, and as soon as they do, everything should back up. So... I don't know. I don't know how much I want to just keep slapping bots into places, you know? Oh, I just realized that my string is way over here. Oh. I guess it's actually not that far. If my other materials are going to be right here, like, that's actually pretty lucky that it worked out like that. <laughs> I mean, it could be down here. I, I don't know. What were we going to use this area for? Probably food production. And then I realized that it's not actually going to take up as much room as I thought. So I don't know what we're going to do down here. That could be a neat little area to build a construction zone. I mean, it's very far away from stuff. But I don't really like where it is now. You know, I'd like to use something. We could turn this into a little villager area, maybe. You know what I'm saying? Maybe we could put some uh, some villagers down in here and make this like a little community. That could be fun. I'm not sure exactly how that's all going to play out either. I do want to produce some of each of the wubs. So for sure we're going to have some of every tier of villager going. I'm just not sure how many exactly. What is this guy? Like, what is he? It looks like he's missing half of his body. You know what? You, come to me, please, so I can throw you in the garbage. Um, yeah, uh, what was I working on here? Oh, yeah, I, I keep getting sidetracked by stuff. I need to get holes dug in here, so let me... I think I need holes dug. How else do I plant these mulberry trees if I don't have a hole? I, I don't even remember how to plant mulberry tree. Mulberry seed. Okay, so those are the mulberry seeds there on the ground. I don't have very many, though. Why don't I have very many? I should pick these up before they despawn. Oh, I have a stick in my hands right now. Alright. I think that's as many as we're going to get for now. I just didn't want them to despawn. So once you make them into a pile, I, I think they stop despawning. So that's perfect. That's what we want. Now, I want a digger. Hole digger, digger, digger. Find nearest soil in here. And because I didn't take all the sod, I can actually just tell him to do it everywhere. All right, so that will be that and then did I have a planter? I'm not sure I do. I'm sure I did, but I'm not sure I still do. Placer, mm, no, I'm not seeing it. Why is this guy broken? <gasps> oh my god. I still have bots that need power in this team are you joking with me right now i don't know 
what am, I'm slacking off, guys. That's unacceptable behavior. I can't believe I still have bots that need charging. Oh my god. Okay. Anyway, let's just kind of forget about that for now until I have to charge him next time. How is my stupid... Oh, it's crude flour, not good flour. <gasps> I am so dumb. It's crude flour. I just assumed it was good flour. I don't know why. Crude flour. Crude flour. Stop. Drop. Go. Oh, crap. Stop. Wait, that was close. I almost forgot I don't want him to do this all over again. Alright, so now the problem is somewhere there's going to be a good flower. I don't know. I'll find it. I always do that. I'm impatient and... Oh, there it is. I was going to say I'm impatient and I just make them drop their stuff wherever they are. And then I have to go figure out where it is after, but we did it. So now that I know he's actually working over there at the crude flower, I should actually just move this thing. Although I'm scared to do it. I'm scared to do it while he's moving. Because I might plug him up. Let's leave it for now. Okay, so as soon as he drops it off. Perfect. Now I can move this thing closer so that he doesn't have to run across the entire map. Where can I put it? That looks like a good spot to me. Okay, so that will help him. I've got to go pick up this stupid little thing here before I forget about it. I may as well pick up this flower. I'm not even sure why that's there. But we'll pick it up. Get rid of it. Okay, now we got a whole bunch of holes. I guess I can just plant these manually. I don't really need a bot because once you've planted those trees, they're planted. So I'll just plant what I can for now manually. And then I'll have to do the rest after we get more seeds, but this will work for now. And I just remembered that you actually have to put mulberry seedlings in, and mulberry seedlings come from putting fertilizer and a mulberry seed together. So I actually have to take these, put them in here. I tried to plant these seedlings and they didn't work. Uh, the seeds and they didn't work and then I was like what the heck's going on here and I remembered it was because I need seedlings so I just took the <laughs> as you can see here I just took the fertilizer spot from the wheat guys so now they're running across the whole map to, to put it in which is probably not ideal but it's gonna have to just work for now because I wasn't going to run all the way across the map to get fertilizer, so. Alright, now I'm going to try and put this thing back, and I'm probably going to break a whole bunch of robots in the process. But it is what it is. What's going on here? Stupid little sheep. Okay. Well, anyway, now I should have a whole bunch of mulberry seedlings. I'm going to go and plant these. All right, that's the last two. That's all I can do for now because I don't have enough seedlings. But that'll do for the time being. Perfect. So we're at least going to have a few trees. We're going to have some cotton. We can start working on that stuff. But guys, I think I'm going to wrap this episode up there. And in, the, and in the next one, I guess what we could start doing is actually refining the cotton and maybe even get the mulberry farm fully operational as well. So it'll give us a little something, something to look forward to in the next one. And guys, let me know how you're liking the series below in the comments. Let me just do a once over on our base so that everyone can see where we're at check it out guys oh my god so i'm expecting by the time we're done this this whole area is going to be turned into clothing manufacturing whatever so we will be left with a little area this can all get cleaned up now actually that can get cleaned up uh we'll be left with a little area up in here which we can use for a village or colony guys whatever 
And then maybe up in here we could stick some colonists as well. I already talked to you guys about putting one down here potentially. And then, I don't know, we could maybe even stick some in here and just have them broken up into different categories. And then maybe we could build a bridge or something out here and, and put someone out there. I don't really know. Um, yeah, I'm not sure exactly. But yeah, I am pretty stoked that I finally got... Oh, we're close. I finally got this spaceport deal operating. And now that that guy is going to come and just annoy the crap out of me every time. Phew! Oh, I guess this also comes up so that it lets me know. But look at that. A hundred coins. Oh, that is wonderful. Let me just... Let me just see what happens now. He should just come over and scream and yell. He's on his way. <laughs> Perfect. That is exactly what I want. I can't ignore him. How are you going to ignore that? Wonderful. I love it. It's so good. Okay, guys. So there it is. That's what we've been working on. I am going to crush these things now. We're going to crush them. We did the daily already. Oh, we can't do the clothing. Can't do that. Berry pie. Easy. Not a problem. Sheep? Sheep? 45 sheep for 10 gold? That does not seem worth it at all. We have a sheep breeder guy. I don't know where he is. Or maybe I deleted him, actually. We had a sheep breeder. All he did was pick up sheep, put them in the barn, then go get some bales, put them in the barn, and then just do that a number of times that I told him to. So I might have deleted that guy. Let me see. Sheep breeder. Yeah, we don't have a sheep breeder anymore. But I don't know. Maybe we'll just wait for the other daily to come up. Man, a hundred, a hundred coins. That is good. Oh, I like that. Now, before I leave you guys, I just want to take a moment and see. I know I've been getting comments about the castle, so we might start looking at the castle. I kind of like these lamp posts. It'd be cute to, to put lamp posts around. Can we actually give bots musical instruments? Please tell me they'll play them. Please tell me they'll play them. Oh my god. Yeah, and this is what I was worried about. There's also clothing in here that we haven't unlocked. So before we can actually finish the clothing, I have to unlock the clothing. So that is kind of a pain in the butt. I, I think we have to make this. We might just get it. I'm not sure. I don't know how this stuff works. A jaw harp. I don't know what that is. It, it looks like a key more than a musical instrument, but... Oh man, I'm excited, guys. Anyway, drop me a comment below. Let me know what you're thinking we should unlock first. I'm thinking... Man, I'm thinking I might unlock this. We've got all those fish. I've got all those fish that I want to do something with. Uh, I'll wait. I'll wait. You guys tell me. I'm gonna leave it up to you. Drop me a comment below. Let me know what you think we should be unlocking first. And yeah, guys, other than that, make sure you leave me a thumbs up on this video if you're liking the series and you want to see some more Autonauts. Subscribe to my channel if you're new here, guys, and I'll see you next time.